Hey, this is Steve Keys here with Keller Williams Capital District. We are here with another walkthrough of the week. This week we are here in Shushan, New York. This is Cambridge School District. This is 862 County Route 61 in Shushan. Technically the town of Jackson, but Shushan mailing address. This is a one bedroom, one and a half bath property. It is 1170 square feet. Um, so I'll talk about it when we get inside. This house, uh, is about 30 years old. It was originally built to be a two story home, but due to original financing issues, um, with the, the owners. So the only one owners, um, they couldn't get the financing for the second floor. So it wasn't actually done, but the space is still there. Um, you're confused now and that's fine, but I'll explain it once we get inside. So this is a B level property. Um, so very good condition. Just, it was, it's about 30 years old. So, um, there are things that could be updated in the home. So if you or anyone you know are thinking about selling your home, now would be the time to give me a call. You can go to the end of the video to get my contact information, or you can go to my Facebook page and you can get my contact information there. So we will go ahead and we'll get started with the walkthrough. So we are here today in Shushan, New York. This is Cambridge School District. This is 862 County Route 61. This is a one bedroom, one and a half bath property. It is 1170 square feet. Uh, this house sits on a lot that is almost six acres. So I'm gonna pan around a little bit. So you can see you've got a large front lot going all the way down to the road there. And then pans around a little bit. With all the snow that we have here, it's a little bit difficult to see. But you can kind of see that stone wall right there, right above the paper. That's that's a stone wall. You can kind of see pieces of it in the uh, from the snow. We got a woodshed over here. There's a wood stove on the other side. The stone wall is not the edge of the property. The property does go past the stone wall. There's a few holes in it for getting through. Uh, we'll peek out the back to see the back of the property. So you can see there's two garage spaces here. Walking up onto the porch, this is a wraparound porch. Um, can't re remember how many sides. I think it's two sides to the home. So we'll just go around here, peek off to the side. Yeah, so this deck, uh, large deck, wraps around to the side. There is another deck in the back, a little bit smaller. All right. So entering the home. So take my shoes off. So we enter into this lip, actually, you know, before I do that. So I was telling you that it was originally designed for a second floor. So you see this wall right here? It's hollow. Now they put a closet in it and there's a pantry in the back uh, for the kitchen, but this is where the staircase was supposed to be. So I say that because there is potential here. Um, that's not, what's the word that I want to say? Uh, because the, the blah, 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 blah. because the, the frame was designed like that, it would be easier to put a staircase in. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So you don't have to like do anything crazy uh, to get access to that second floor because the important pieces were already put in place. That's just sheetrock and a few studs that have to come down, but because it was designed for that floor, they're not load, it's not load bearing walls or anything. All right, so yeah, that's that. So we enter into this large living area here. So living room, dining room combined area. You can see the hardwood floors in this room. This has the wood stove here. The wood stove can heat a majority of the house. Uh, if you keep the doors open, there is uh, also, it also does use oil uh, for heat. 
walking into the dining area here you can see the uh, glass doors going out onto that wraparound porch that we saw earlier with the chandelier overhead bar style chandelier off the dining room we're walking into the kitchen area now so you can see ceramic tile in the kitchen area and then here's the kitchen area here you can see there's stainless steel appliances so there's the dishwasher there uh, a large double base sink over there gas oven and range and the stainless refrigerator over here is the pantry. This was the back side of where the front staircase was supposed to go. This is a very large pantry. This was supposed to be stairs down into the basement with the stairs going up into the second floor. So, but without those stairs there, they just, um, they decided to use it for pantry space instead. Heading this way, here's the door onto the back porch. So a little bit of a porch here. And then you can see the stone wall again. Oh, it's focusing on the screen again. There we go. So you can see the stone wall again into the back and then past that stone wall, there's another three acres. So going into the back there, there's several walking trails in the back. So it's a very large lot just under six acres. So off the kitchen here is the laundry area. So washer and dryer there. The exterior door goes to the garage, the two car garage that we saw outside. The access to the basement is currently through the garage. So that's how you get into the basement and then the half bath off here. So with the vanity, and the toilet. Like I said, it was oil heat, so you can see the uh, the baseboard radiator there. See a few of them throughout the house. All right, and now finishing our circle in the bedroom. So here is the bedroom. area here and then off the bedroom you have the master bath so this is a master suite large uh, yeah large vanity here countertop only has the one sink in it but it's very large so a uh, second sink could be added and then the jacuzzi style hot tub yeah not hot tub just to the jacuzzi style tub in the back there with the toilet and then the walk-in shower and then off to the side is the large walk-in closet so a lot of space in here for that all right so that is everything so that concludes the walkthrough. All right, so that is everything. So that was one bedroom, one and a half bath. It is 1,170 square feet. So this is a B-level home. The home is in very good condition. It's still the original owner's, so it's been very well maintained. But it is a 30-year-old home. So there are some things that could be updated uh, should you choose to. As I've said before, B-level homes, my favorite level of home because there's... Uh, there's things that you could do to improve the value of the home and add equity yourself. This home is in a unique position because it was designed to have a second floor. So there's technically a second floor up there that is in no way finished because there's no way to get to it um, besides an attic hatch or anything like that. But it's not, it, it, yes, it does need work, but the hard part is there. You don't have to add the second story to the home it's already up there. It just needs to be finished. So, and they have the space, this wall right here behind me, that's where the stairs are supposed to go. So again, 
That's two difficult problems that you would have to adding a second floor that have already been taken care of. So that's basically like finishing a basement, um, except way cooler because it's actual above ground square footage, which is always more valuable than below ground square footage. So a very unique opportunity with this property to add a lot of equity and a lot of the cost in that is is already taken care of because that would be ripping off the roof, adding more space, which you don't have to do because it's there, and then figuring out how to add a stairwell in. Well, that's already there too. So all of that's been taken care of. I, I would say that's probably the more expensive part. So that's a very good opportunity with this home. So check the property information page for the most up-to-date information on the property, any kind of price updates, special incentives, open houses, anything like that, that'll all be found on the property information page. Please like my Facebook page to see more walkthroughs of the week and any of the other, anything else that I post on Facebook. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel will have all of the videos that I'm doing across every platform. All of that will be in one spot. So you can go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to that. So that has been this week's walkthrough of the week. Thank you for joining me and please tune in again next week for next week's walkthrough of the week. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.